Hello, in this video we'll go over an important audio feature to extract called MEL spectrograms and how we can extract MEL spectrograms using Python and Labrosa. Let's get started. Firstly, audio feature extraction is a crucial step in machine learning. Converting raw audio data into a structured format suitable for model training and analysis. Raw audio data is complex and contains vast amount of information. Feature extraction reduces the dimensionality, emphasizing relevant patterns for machine learning models. The MEL spectrogram, a visual representation of frequency content over time, is a powerful feature. And in this video, we'll understand how we can leverage a MEL scale to approximate the human ear's response to different frequencies, making it particularly valuable for tasks involving human perception. A MEL spectrogram transforms the linear frequency scale of a traditional spectrogram into a logarithmic scale. Now let's implement audio feature extraction using MEL spectrograms and Python and Librosa. Firstly, let's import all the necessary libraries, including Librosa for audio processing, Matplotlib for the plotting, and NumPy for numerical operations. We'll also import ipython.display to be able to hear our audio file. Next, let's store the audio file path into a variable, and then let's hear our audio file. As you may know, that is the F major scale. And now let's get the Y, which is the audio time series data, and also the SR, which is the sampling rate of the time series data. So we can do that using a simple function in Librosa called librosa.load, given a audio file path. And there's other arguments we can pass in, like the NFFT, so number of samples in each of the short Fourier transforms it does. And normally it defaults to 2048, so that's good in our case. And we can also change the hop length, number of males, and even the frequency min and maximum. We'll keep those for the default for now. And after this, let's actually extract the male spectrogram. Librosa makes this easy um, through a function called librosa.feature.mil spectrogram. And here we just input the signals we have. So we'll take the Y that we got from librosa.load and also the sampling rate from librosa.load. And now let's run this. Next, we'll convert the linear scale spectrogram to decibels. And all we have to do is input our MEL spectrogram that we have extracted and provide a reference power to use when we're converting to decimals. And in this case, we'll use numpy.max. After this, all we have to do is plot the MEL spectrogram using librosa.display.specshow. And we'll also use matplot.pyplot. So there's other things we could do, including adjusting the figure size, the axis, the color map, etc. And let's run this again. And as we can see, this is the MEL spectrogram. So this is a visual representation of the audio having the frequency over time. As you can see, it's a pretty simple and quick process to extract a MEL spectrogram. So it can be a very powerful tool when training a machine learning model on audio data. Hope that was helpful and see you in the next video.